This is Twit. Well, I mean, the topic that we have today is, is, is super amazing, super cool. Um, and we, we heard just a little bit about it recently, about the new uh, wireless capabilities within the New York subways. You know, what do you what do they do? What do you do for planning even this type of thing in this in that type of environment? I mean, it's a it's a multi year process, and you know, I I need to explain. I think that um, you know, Alcatel Lucent Enterprise has a really key component of the technology here, but the real brains behind the design of New York City uh, subways wireless system is Transit Wireless. They're the folks who designed it and are currently operating it for the next uh, 27 years as a as a right to use uh, that they have for the system, but they took a really um, systematic approach to, to building this network. They started with a small pilot in uh, West Chelsea, uh, six stations to, to pilot it, to make sure they had the architecture right, to make sure the service worked as intended. And once they were happy with what they had, then they started to roll it out bit by bit. And you know, when you're trying to deliver uh, wireless coverage to 270 plus stations, uh, you know, in an infrastructure that's over 100 years old, that's not an easy thing to do. So uh, they took their time, but they actually finished well ahead of schedule. And all of the stations are now lit up. Uh, that was as of uh, the end of uh, 2016. So uh, they have a system now that uh, is used by 300,000 people every day in New York City. So it's a very, very uh, wide ranging and a very smart kind of deployment that uh, Transit Wireless has done. So, so other so other than the obvious, there's there's obviously you have to think a little bit differently from just the normal terrestrial wireless communications above ground and underground. So, you know, what do you have to do? What is what's this type of environment? What do you have to do? What kind of hardware do you have to put in there that's different than the normal installations and the normal kind of deployments for that type of thing? Yeah, no, it's an excellent question. I don't know if anyone, uh, any of your listeners or any of you guys have been inside a New York City subway uh, station, but these places are not environmentally controlled. They get really hot in the summer. They get really cold in the winter. And so the equipment you deploy to operate a wired and wireless network has to have, uh, you know, industrial levels of uh, of operating temperature. So, uh, the the equipment they used from Alcatel Lucent Enterprise is is what we call hardened Ethernet. The switches there operate from a range of minus 40 Celsius all the way up to 74 Celsius. And when you install uh, wireless and switches in the ceiling of a subway system, it can get that hot. It can get that cold. Uh, and so you have to really think th think it through. The other thing that's interesting about deploying in an underground environment is it's open to the public. So, you know, imagine if you're you're an IT pro, uh, imagine that if all your network closets were open to anyone who felt like, you know, taking a look inside to see what was going on, you can imagine what would happen. So what Transit Wireless did is they actually enclosed all of the network equipment in, uh, you know, tamper-proof enclosures that are very difficult to get into and are extremely rugged. Uh, the way they clean the subway walls and ceilings is with a high-pressure hose. So, uh, you know, those enclosures got to stand up to that and uh, they and the equipment, the equipment inside has to stand up to the extreme temperatures you're going to find in there. Right. So, you know, the type of equipment I'm seeing, obviously, they, they you're saying a little bit about how they're enclosed, but the type of equipment I'm seeing is actually there's some uh, even more hardened switches that we're talking about here. Right. The um, the the, 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 the Alcatel Lucent uh, switches, which is the 6855s. What makes them so um, useful in this type of environment and being able to be enclosed in such an environment? Yeah, I mean, they're designed right from the get-go to be um, able to operate at these extreme temperatures. So, you know, your listeners will probably be aware of that if you build a PCB, there's all kinds of uh, components you can place on it. There are mil-spec components you can put on it, which operate at, at extended temperature ranges. So that's what we built and we continue to build in all of our uh, hardened Ethernet line. Uh, the other thing that's really important in this environment is to avoid anything with a moving part in it. So all of these uh, hardened Ethernet switches are able to do what they do without fans. So this gives them a very long lifespan. And when you don't have moving parts, you end up with a very highly reliable switch. 
Uh, that's really critical in this kind of environment because sometimes these switches are deployed in places that you can't get to unless you're stopping the train traffic. And clearly that's not something you ever want to do uh, when you're dealing with a public transit system that's, that's uh, you know, moving that many people every day.